So again, good afternoon, everyone. This is your first day of your second semester, February 22. So our agenda for today is a little bit of orientation regarding your subject, practical research one. But before that, I would like to introduce myself. I am going to be your teacher. My name is Ms. Jen Marie A. Simon. I am also the librarian of your school in the your assistant principal. So last semester, I was the teacher of Humes in their subject, Philippine Politics and Governance. So in order for you not to disturb your other classmates, please mute yourself. So the first part, try to mute yourself. So the first part of our orientation today is the melt. I would like you to see and hear this part of melt. What is melt? Most essential learning competencies. So these are the things that you're going to encounter during your semester in your subject practical research one. So the during the first quarter, the first topic that we're going to discuss is the importance of research in daily life. So for your information, this subject is all about research. We're going to tackle the importance of research, the different um, parts of research. And lastly, before this semester ends, you are going to make your own research title chapter one and chapter two yeah. but before those things we need to know the importance of research in daily life then the next topic after that is the characteristics processes and ethics of research the third topic is the quantitative and qualitative research so we're going to um, differentiate what is quantitative and qualitative research? The fourth topic is the kinds of research across fields. So ano bang iba't ibang research sa fields? Kasi may tinatawag na fields. Sa field ng science, sa field ng philosophy, sa field ng technology, ganun. Then, next topic. The value of qualitative research, its kinds, characteristics, uses, strengths, and weaknesses. Then the next one is the importance of qualitative research across fields of inquiry. So those things um, will be discussed from week one to week two. So the start of week one is next. Then week three to four is the range of research topics in the area of inquiry. So, ang gagawin natin ay titignan natin kung ano yung mga possible research topics sa strand ninyo. So, magkaiba ang research topic ng Hume sa APM, magkaiba ang research topic ng ABM sa TBL. So, week three to four, Ang inyong gagawin ay you need to design a research project related to design. Ano ba ang ano ba yan? Huh? Learn to mute yourself, guys. Yan. Wait lang ah. Oh, let's continue. Saan na tayo? So, yan. So, ang week 1 and week 2 natin ay introduction ng research. Kasi, titignan natin the importance of research, different kinds of research, what is the difference of quantitative and qualitative research, then the different kinds of research across fields. Then, on the week 3 to week 4, you're going to formulate your own 
research title. So you can see under the performance task here. Formulate clearly statement of research problem. So under your specialization or your strand, naririnig nyo ba yung construction? <laughs> yes, for sure. Wait lang, technical difficulty, maingay. So, na-reduce ba ang noise? Hindi. Okay. I'm sorry for that. Let's continue. Nasaan na tayo? So, ayan. So, week 3 to week 4, you're going to write your own research title. So, your research title should be connected to your strand. Kung humes ka, ano bang pinag-aaralan sa Hume Society? So, titingin ka ng problema sa society or related sa strand mo that you can formulate a research title from it. Yeah. So, but, if, but before that, we're going to have a simple research project related to daily life. So, tignan nyo na um, from now on kung ano ba yung mga problema natin sa pang-araw-araw natin. Then what is the solution for that? So that will be part of your output. Next one. The value of research in the areas of interest. The specificity and feasibility of the problem posed. So the next part after you formulate your own research title or you already have your research problem, titignan natin kung relevant ba yung naisip na yung title or problem. Kung may kahalagahan ba yun. So, the learner needs to provide the justification reasons for conducting the research. Bakit yun yung napili yung topic? Bakit yun yung napili mong title? Then, in support to your research title or problem, you need to have a research questions. Ano ba yung mga katanungan mo related sa ginawa mong research title? The next one, you will formulate also or have the scope and the limitation of your research. Saan ang hangganan ng research mo? Sino ang respondents mo? Anong group? Ganun. But before you make those things, I would, of course, I will discuss those things to you. Ano ba yung different parts of a research? Next one, side ben benefits and beneficiaries of research. So under these things here, these are all from chapter one. Yeah. So technically, right after the introduction of your of research, you're going to make your chapter one. Yeah. Then week five to six. The criteria of selecting, citing, synthesizing related literature and ethical standards in writing related literature. So, week 5 to 6, or pwede din umabot yun ng 7 to 8, depending sa um, bilis ng paggawa ninyo, that is technically making your chapter 2. So, from the introduction of the subject, little bit of discussion lang, then discussion ulit ng chapter 1, then gagawin nyo na yung research title nyo. Then, sa research title nyo, that will be a trial and error. So, you're going to propose me a research title. Provide me also your research questions. Then, magkakaroon ng title defense na tinatawag natin. Then, ako as your teacher and your research teacher, I'm going to accept it or not. So, yeah, you need to defend your research title. Then, after defending and for after the approval of your research title, you're going to proceed to chapter one. So, but before that, I'm going to discuss again the topics related or the parts of chapter one. Then, yung mga nakapasa or na-approve ang title, mag sila sa chapter one. Yung mga hindi, natitenga sila doon. Doon lang sila. Hanggat hindi sila na-approve. 
Then yung mga nakapasa sa title, pupunta sa chapter 1. Then kapag naging na-approve na yung chapter 1, doon na sila magpo-forward sa chapter 2. This one, the criteria in selecting, citing, and synthesizing related literature. Because that is the title of chapter, or that is the topic under chapter 2. Review of related literature. So, dyan, um, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano ang paghahanap ng mga related studies sa, na may connect sa inyong research title. Support documents, kumbaga. Ayan. Then, dyan, um, mostly, gagamitin nyo ang Google and other educational tools found in the internet para mag-research ng mga natapos ng study na katulad ng study mo. Ganyan yan. Then, just like chapter 1 and your research title, you're going to defend also or to present your chapter 2. Sounds exciting, right? Then, after those things, that is the end of your quarter. So, that's your third quarter. So, let's proceed to quarter, to the next quarter, which is the fourth quarter now. Because, diba ngayon, second sem is the third quarter and the fourth quarter. So, that is the content of your third quarter. Let us have a recap. Um, introduction of the subject, diba? Making of your research title, defense. Making of your chapter 1, defense. Making of your chapter 2, defense. Yeah, sounds exciting. Then, let's proceed to the next quarter, fourth quarter. Um, we're going to have a discussion about qualitative research design, the description of sample, data collection and analysis, and procedures. So, so chapter two I sa chapter sa, sa next quarter, which is the fourth quarter, ang first topic naman natin dun is about chapter three. So the chapter three is the methodology. Methodology ang tawag dun sa research. So doon, ang chapter three and statistics ay parang pareho ng topic. So mostly, magkakakonek na yan. So, ano ba ang research design? I, I discuss ko yan. Kung, then, after discussion of research design, i-coconnect nyo siya sa research nyo. Kung ano ang compatible na research design sa napili nyong research title. Then, you need to describe sampling procedure and samples. Yan. So, data collection, data gathering instrument, and analysis procedure. So, Basically, this part is like statistics, pero hindi. The next is the application of creative design principle, execution, observation, and interview. So, the last part is yung gawahan. Fourth na. Chapter 4 na ang discuss natin. And you're going to also make it. Pero hindi siya masyadong ano. Depende. So, ayan. The chapter 4 naman is collection of data na then interpretation. And the last part of our discussion is about conclusion. How do you form conclusions? Ganyan. How do you inter interpret data into words? So, from the number collected or from the data collected, into your conclusion. So that is the end of chapter or that is the end of fourth quarter. Yeah. So again, the lawang quarter ang second sem. Third quarter and fourth quarter. Ang gagawin nyo sa third quarter is research title, chapter one, chapter two. Then ang gagawin nyo sa fourth quarter ay Chapter 3, Chapter 4, and the summative test. And the presentation of your research. Yeah. So, expected activities. I'm going to give you assignments, quizzes, then, yeah, 
research title, title defense, chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4. Sounds exciting, right? Hey, but ganito tong background ko. Wait na. Hindi nyo yung background ko. Hindi ba ito naman na ako? Gosh, bakit naging bato ako? So, ayan. Nagkikinig ba kayo? Yes, sir. Nagkita nyo naman yung presentation ko? Apo, sir. Pero, pawala-wala. 